Hey guys, East Coast Lakes here. All right, we're out here on the lake again. It's been a while since I've been down here. The water level's gone down a little bit, so we'll see what comes out of the banks. Water receding will move stuff around and it'll uncover things that you didn't see the first time. So stay tuned. So you can see where the level's gone down. There's a big row of sticks and stuff. That water's just lapped as it went down and it'll tumble everything out of there. So I'm hoping to find stuff. But here, just like, just like last time I was down on the lake, there's another bottle, almost in the exact same spot too. Let's say early, let's say 70s maybe, 60s or 70s. Not embossed, sadly. Still markings on the bottom. I'll take that. It's pretty cool. I'll keep at it. All right, I think I have something here. Sorry again about the highway background noise. I didn't put the highway there. It just happened to be right next to an Indian site. But let's pull that. Okay. It's definitely got an edge on it. Still pretty sharp too. Looks like a blade maybe. Because it's too thick on this side. So they probably only used this side right here to cut. When I look over here, you can see that laying there. Looks like a tip. This just goes to show, guys. After it rains, it never hurts to go check your spot twice. You never know what's going to wash out of there. This looks like a little scraper right here. You can see where they took really long fluted flakes, right? Two out of here. It's pretty awesome. I'll get back with you. Now, I think this actually used to be the outer band for a wagon wheel. And they'd have the wooden spokes go on the inside of it. And that's the metal band that went on the outside. You can't pull it out all the way, but there's a tree growing around it. That's still pretty cool though. I'll get back with you guys. Here's a piece that looks like it just came out of this hillside right here. It doesn't look broken anywhere because it has work on the base. That side, this side. This must be a, a thumb scraper, I guess. It's way too thick to be a point. It's still pretty cool. These are probably camping right on top of that hill, hillside right there. So yeah, all the tools are coming out from this bank into this gravel. I'll keep looking, guys. Okay, so this is a narrowhead, but this is still really cool. There's an old pocket knife. I'm wondering if those are antler grips. Let's go see. Probably came out of some guy's tackle box a while ago. I think this might be a newer one because those feel artificial. I'll have to clean it up later and check it out though. That's pretty sick. So I got something here. It's not native, but it's a pretty cool little fossil. Slow end of it. It's a couple million years old. It's pretty cool. All right, I got something in the ground here. Right in this little trough. It's all eroding inward. Yeah, it's a nice point. It's a little cruder on this side, but you know, every point has a good side and bad side. It's true for almost almost all arrowheads. Just a little bit off the tip and the base too. That's cool. I'll keep at them.
Well, I came over here to one of my classic spots, and um, it appears they have bulldozed it. So, might be slim picking there. Well, despite all this construction here on my on my spot, I did manage to find this this worked piece. It's like just a spent core, but right here, looks like we've got a nice Madison. Let's pull it. Yeah, nice little Madison. It's broken on the right side, but other than that, it's still pretty nice. Very fine edge work. Well, guys, that's all. That's about all the time I have for today. Uh, I'm gonna start my bike ride eight miles home. So, if you enjoyed today's video, please like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate that. And thanks for supporting the channel. All all the rest of you guys that already have. Have a good one.